what's up you guys come on in come on in welcome to another video if you're new to the channel welcome if you're already a part of the amanda marie family then welcome back thank you guys so much for your love and support okay over here i love to talk about fragrances that is what i do that is my thing so if you're into fragrance i would love for you to hit that subscribe button thank you so much for subscribing to my channel it means a lot to me it means a lot okay anyway let's get into the video so in today's video i'm going to be bringing to you the fragrances that i wore last week last week was the week of child y'all know i do this every single time i barely can remember what's going on from day to day let alone the days of the month of the week all that good stuff okay so these are the fragrances i wore uh last week the june 27th through july 1st i wanted to get a little bit creative with how i'm picking my fragrances because i y'all know i have so many fragrances a lot of people ask me how do you pick your fragrance like how do you know what you're gonna wear from day to day this week i went with all gold bottles so if it was gold i grabbed it mostly appropriate for the you know spring and summer because i do have some gold bottles that honey they honey honey they'll blow anybody out the water okay and they just really not appropriate for this time of the year so i didn't go with them i went with the ones that really kind of go with the heat and stuff like that the first one i picked was tom ford's metalique you guys know about this fragrance it's been around for a while now and i think you guys are very indifferent on this fragrance like it's not necessarily like a hate and it's not necessarily like a love but i would tell you one thing it is one of the best vanilla fragrances i have in my collection okay you guys i love vanilla like vanilla is my thing it's sweet it goes with anything it goes great with layering like you really 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 can't go wrong when you pick a vanilla vase vase a vanilla based fragrance it's like a um like an aldehyde kind of metallic kind of icy cold vanilla type of scent aldehydes pink pepper bergamot which i do get a blast of bergamot in the opening which is kind of citrusy just not a lot of citrus but a little hint of something bright i feel like that's from the bergamot in the middle you get heliotrope hawthorn lily of the valley and you get in the base vanilla and brett uh you get peru balsam and sandalwood i do feel like in the dry down i get this beautiful kind of almost a little spicy sandalwood the sandalwood is really top tier in this fragrance it's really amazing it does dry down like a little powdery but this fragrance is long lasting on my skin and it projects like a beast okay there is a dupe out there a name that i won't name that really put me on the map like it put me on to this fragrance and it made me want to get the real deal and so i did that i really feel like this is a lifer for me this is a fragrance that i will more than likely always have in my collection i have a lot of vanilla fragrances in my collection okay so when it comes to like my top three vanilla fragrances i probably will say Tom Force Metal League. I will also say um, Vanilla 28 by Kayali. Amazing, beautiful brown sugar and vanilla fragrance. And my third one probably would be um, something along the lines of Angel Share and Mercedes Benz Club Black. Also, Jessica Simpson Fancy. Okay, Jessica Simpson Fancy is a beautiful caramel and vanilla fragrance and it's super affordable but i really i'm really down with this fragrance like i really enjoy this fragrance a lot okay a lot it's gorgeous and i know some people say that it has this like metallic kind of iron smell to it and it really does which is befitting for the name this is why they call it metallic i would suppose but it's it's a different vanilla it's a very unique vanilla every time i wear it i get tons of compliments it's amazing and yeah this is what i wore last week tom ford's metalik moving on to my next fragrance which uh some may say is a dupe for uh baccarat this is instant crush by mancera i do have the twisty top i think when they first came out with this fragrance the top was just like a magnetic top i wish i had that one 
but either way i still love this fragrance i enjoy it it's perfect for this time of the year some of the notes include saffron ginger uh sicilian mandarin sicilian bergamot you have some amberwood you have some rose you have some Egyptian jasmine, Indonesian patchouli, and the base you have this beautiful Madagascar vanilla, you have a musk, you have oak moss, and you have sandalwood, okay? It is so sexy, like I can't deny the sexiness that comes from this fragrance. It is just very, very sexy. I know it's ultra popular and a lot of people have it, but I have to be honest, you know, I try to... I try to stay away from trendy perfumes, you know, and not really jump on the bandwagon when a fragrance gets very popular. But you guys, really at the end of the day, if it's good, it's good. It's good, and then it's in a gold bottle. And so I had to pick it, pick it up. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on here. Y'all saw that spray? It's gorgeous. I think why it's compared to Baccarat is because of the saffron. Saffron is a note in Baccarat. Also, oak moss is in Baccarat as well. So, of course, when you get those two together, it's always going to kind of remind you of Baccarat. Would I say that it is a dupe for Baccarat? Uh, no, not really. But if you want something that's similar to Baccarat and you don't want to spend 300 on Baccarat, you can get this one. I, I got this one for the low. I think I got it. It was less than like 120 okay, on Fragrance X, okay, back then. I don't know how much it cost now. The price could have went up because y'all know that happens too. When we get on here and we talk about fragrances, child, the price go up, you know, drastically. If you want something and I'm talking about it and it's popular, man, you better get on it. Why the getting is good because I can't tell you. Okay, yesterday's price is not going to be today's price. That shit changes because it's so popular and people trying to make money. So y'all know how I go. This was actually my first Mancera fragrance. And Mancera actually makes some beast mode fragrances. And this one is beautiful. The longevity is amazing. The projection is nice. I feel like the projection can be a little bit better. Okay, but that's probably going to depend on your skin chemistry and how much you spray. I didn't go in with sprays, you know, I did like a little moderate spray, maybe about three or four, okay, and then I was done. But yeah, I do like to go in with the sprays on this one, and it's beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. What can I say? Again, if you, if you like fragrances like Baccarat, pick up that Instant Crush. You will enjoy it. Okay, so my next fragrance is actually from a black-owned brand. This is Mamasi. This is Into Me. Her. Because there is an Into Me for him. I did talk about this fragrance, I want to say, some months back when I first got it. It was gifted to me from the brand. So thank you guys for that so much. Every time I smell this scent, I feel... I start to feel very feminine and very like like a classy woman this fragrance is very classy okay and it is simply gorgeous it is really really nice I feel like this is the type of fragrance that you can wear to anywhere you can wear it to work it transitions well work into date night everyday wear if you really wanted to I feel like the when I read you guys the notes it kind of it kind of maybe will put you in the frame of mind of a fall winter time scent but and you could wear it in the fall and winter like you know but I feel a very not necessarily springy feel like this is it just it it reminds me of more of a spring summer scent in my opinion you get Jamaican coffee bean in the middle. You get French vanilla, tuberose, jasmine, Indian rose, and patchouli. In the base, you get cashmere, cocoa, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So in the opening, it opens up very bright, okay, very airy. And I do pick up a lot on the almond and maybe a hint of the coffee bean. It's not very prominent. There is patchouli in here, and I'll tell you the patchouli is not the star of the show. So if you're not into patchouli, 
I think this will be a safe buy for you, okay? Very sweet, creamy, um, you know, vibe to it. Very soft, very feminine. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. The cashmere is what gives it that softness, okay? And I do pick up a little bit of the Tonka in a dry down. I get this beautiful, creamy sandalwood scent. It This is gorgeous. If I had to compare it, which nothing is really coming right now like to me on what to compare it to, but I would tell you how it makes me feel. Like the brand that it kind of reminds me of would be something from like Dior or like Chanel. You know, those type of scents. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I close my eyes and someone had me smell this and ask me who made it, I probably would say Chanel because it just, it reminds me of a very elegant fragrance. And y'all know, in my opinion, Chanel is very elegant, okay? It's very eleganza, all right? Like if I'm wearing a Chanel fragrance besides Eau Tendre, because that one is a little bit more springy to me. I, I'm I'm dressed up, okay? If I'm wearing a Chanel fragrance, like I'm dressed up. I'm, if I'm wearing this, I'm dressed up. I'm going somewhere, you know, sexy date night or whatever, a wedding or something like that. It's just really, really gorgeous. And again, this is a black owned brand. We need to really support our black owned brands. And this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. So this fragrance is actually on sale. It's uh, usually $150, but it is right now on sale for $120. So that's a good, good price for this. And I want to say this is a, this is a 3.4. So this is like the biggest bottle. She also has some, um, some travel sprays, like some seven, is this, I don't know. Oh, it's a 10 ml. So she has some 10 ml. If you don't want to commit to a big bottle like this, Check out the 10 mLs. Those are going for $20. So yeah, let's support our black owned brands, you guys, okay? There's been a little bit of controversy behind this fragrance and the longevity of it. Um, not the longevity, well yeah, probably so, the longevity and the projection. And some of the girls on TikTok are saying, well, I, I watched a TikTok a while back, and we're they were thinking like maybe People are having different experiences with this fragrance because of different batches that were made. So this is uh, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon's Gentle Fluidity Gold, okay? Now, it was so interesting when I saw that on TikTok with my friend Tanisha. She also has Gentle Fluidity Gold, and she's always telling me how it doesn't last on her. She can't smell it. None of that. But... Or said all of that but for me I don't get that like I guess maybe I got a good batch because people can smell this on me like six feet away like it has the best uh, scent trail it has the best longevity on me best projection so I don't know what that's about so comment down below if you have gentle fluidity go and you've experienced you know the lack of longevity or projection but on this for me on it smells amazing i mostly pull the juniper berry and the vanilla i think there may be a little bit of woods in here let's see so there's vanilla there's amber musk woods there is a uh, juniper berry nutmeg and coriander so but to my nose i get a beautiful musk I get a beautiful vanilla and I get that sweet fruity note from the juniper berry and I just love this fragrance. As you guys can see, I do have a nice little dent in this bottle which lets me, it leads me to believe I like it more than what I thought, okay? And I have smelled the Gentle Fluidity Gold. The crazy thing about those two, they both have the same notes in them but they smell totally different to my nose. When I smelled the silver, it was giving me um, Tom Ford's Soleil Neige, okay? But, so it wasn't enough for me to like move me to buy it. Plus, I felt, I smelled the Soleil Neige before I smelled the Gentle Fluidity Silver. And I went with that one instead. So, I like this one better. This one has, it, it has a warmness to it that I really, really do enjoy. 
in this fragrance so when I when I'm done with this one more than likely I will buy the bigger bottle because I'm scared now now I'm, I'm scared because I'm like man if I spend that much on this fragrance y'all know Maison Francis Francis is not cheap okay so I don't know I don't know I might try out and see when I'm out of this getting a bigger bottle I'm not I don't want to pay full retail for it I'm not gonna pay full retail I'm gonna buy it somewhere for the low okay and hopefully fingers crossed I don't get a bad batch so I don't know what what was up with this fragrance but I've I've heard that complaint numerous of times from different people saying that the fragrance doesn't really perform well on them so I don't know I got a good batch so and I bought this one from Nordstrom when they first came out with these smaller bottles I got mine from Nordstrom so maybe I'll go back there and get the bigger bottle you know go back to where I got mine from that didn't give me no problems I don't know anyway moving on okay so my last one is from the house of Oud this is just before this is actually fairly new to my collection I don't even think at this point I've probably had this fragrance for like a month now something like that it reminds me of a fragrance that I had years ago and I cannot find the name of course back then when I was emptying my bottles I would throw my bottles away now for content I don't I don't throw my bottles away plus I need to save in the bottle I need to remember what the hell I bought I, I really hate that I can't think of that fragrance that it remind me of the top you get saffron bergamot lemon in the middle you get palo santo ylang ylang myrrh and then in the base you get vanilla sandalwood amber and benzoin crazy thing of it is all of these gold bottles have kind of like similar notes saffron bergamot musk vanilla definitely and sandalwood has been in almost all of them so but they don't smell all of them smell different in their own individual way but this is a beautiful scent i'm definitely getting that palo santo i have another fragrance from the house of save our fair that has palo santo in it and so i'm not real versed and familiar with palo santo i just know that it sometimes in different fragrances it can give me like an herbal essence type of feel you know not so much in this one this one is a very different palo santo but i'm definitely picking up on it and i love it in this fragrance and child palo santo is said to have some cleansing properties and honey i need to wear this to work every day because i need cleansing i need protection i need all of that okay when i hit them doors of the office i need all of that I pick up myrrh i pick up the myrrh okay as well so it does come off a little incense -y, but not over the top incense it doesn't smell smoky or anything like that and i do get a beautiful uh warmness from the amber and the benzoin and i get a creamy sandalwood note in the base so this is an amazing scent i did pick this one up from fragrance x i love to shop fragrance x for my fragrances especially like niche fragrances like this where i don't want to pay full price who wants to pay for a price, honey? I mean, yeah, if I had the coin to pay for a price, sometimes I do pay for a price. It, it depends on the situation, okay? It depends. Like, if it's a fragrance that I feel like I can't get anywhere, I have no choice but to pay for a price, then I will. But Fragrance X has a lot of niche brands on their site. So, though I've never had a problem, knock on wood, with fragrance x at this point i've been buying from them for almost two years so yeah i like fragrance x but the packaging is simply gorgeous you guys know they call these fragrances the eggs okay all of them are hand painted this is an italian brand and i just love the house of oud i love the house of oud so much they're just gorgeous so if you not try i think some of their popular fragrances would be uh, Date's Delight. I do have that one. Just before, um, Almond Harmony is one that I hear people talk about a lot. 
and uh, Keep Glaze. Those are some of their popular offerings from the brand. So I really do like this one. I would not necessarily wear this for like an everyday type wear because uh, first of all, because okay, so you know, y'all know I'm 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 cheap. I like to. I am that type of person that will preserve my good, good, good fragrances for special events and occasions, okay? I'm not ashamed to say that. I am that girl, okay? Period. So those were my fragrances for the week. Comment down below and let me know what you wore last week. I'm curious to find out. And maybe you guys can give me some tips on what you guys like. I'm always adding to my collection. And I'm always getting, I'm always purging. So I'm actually probably about to do a purge here in a second so go follow me on Macari that is where I sell my fragrances I believe my link is down below in the description like I'm a hundred percent sure my Macari link is down below so go make sure you guys are following me on Macari if you shop on Macari all right if you're into fragrances you want to find out something new maybe you're trying to build your collection update your collection whatever the case may be maybe you just love my content I would love for you to subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Also, do me another favor, give this video a thumbs up, you guys. That is so important to me and the growth of my channel that you hit the like button, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!